So British Steel is um, in trouble. It's been a marginal uh, producer of steel for some time. Europe is not a great place to produce steel. There are other steel makers in Europe who either do a better job or have managed to specialize. For whatever reason, British Steel's costs have been too high. Now, Grey Bull um, have some history of trying to bail out <laughs> other UK businesses with not very much success, but in this case, they got their timing right. Uh, they came in right pretty much near the bottom of the steel market uh, in early 2016. Steel prices rose, everything was okay for a while, and a company that was deeply loss-making, after 100 days of trading or so, started to look to be in much better health. Why are we here again <laughs> um, talking about bailouts and help for Graybill, help for British Steel? British Steel, under its previous owners, um, Tata had used um, effectively the emissions trading system, the system of carbon credit trading in the EU, where credits are given to various industries, particularly the polluting ones, um, uh, to offset their emissions. If they have too many, sometimes these companies sell those. Uh, it turned out that British Steel was using this quite a bit in the last few years, three or four years, maybe longer, and they were selling credits, taking the money, and then when new credits were given to them at the beginning of the new uh, fiscal year in the spring, they would cover their shorts. And this was a repeated practice. So what went wrong? <laughs> what went really wrong most recently is last year one these uh, carbon credits went up in price a lot. Uh, they, they, well, they went from as low as five euros per uh, ton of carbon to 25 most recently. That made that short very difficult to cover and the worst news came for uh, British Steel when the EU decided, lo and behold, as Britain is leaving the EU, it is not entitled to any more of these credits. <laughs> it does seem like it's the, you know, something that they could have at least uh, predicted. Um, this is a cyclical business steel. The macro situation can be highly volatile. Steel prices move up and down. They happen to be going down now, steel prices in the last six months, and it couldn't come at a worse time for British Steel because iron ore prices, one of the key inputs, for the steel making business are soaring um, and that's happening because of an accident in Brazil. So it's a little bit of a perfect storm for British Steel and Grable, but I have to say that it's difficult to sympathize with them. This is the time when they're supposed to be putting more capital in to a business that needs it and they're trying to drop off the keys of the business and walk away.